right, praise the Lord. Let's see what we have. Uh-huh. All right. Maybe we'll get something here. All right. Let me get right into it. Praise the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to talk about addiction for a moment. Addiction. Praise the Lord. And right off the bat, if we speak in just layman's terms, when we talk about addiction, we're talking about having a habit. We all have them, some positive and some negative. But there are addictions in our lives that hurt us, which goes into the witchcraft of what I've been talking about. You see, if you, if you listen to me, you don't have to... Like everything I say, but we're talking about the word of God all the time. And I love the word of God. And and I don't know, I, I, pro, I could never, and I'm just going to say it like that. I could never love the Lord like the Lord loves me. You know why I can't? Because the Lord is love. I'm learning. The Lord is already that. Um. So in that experience and experimentation of learning the Lord, learning myself. Even sometimes I learn about sin of other people by sin in my life. Of course, I can't tell you certain personal things about my life, even if you wanted to, because that's not going to help you. Because talking to you about the Lord and then telling you certain things, if I tell you that uh, just randomly what I've done to a person, just using that as a, a, a theoretically, you'll say, oh, he did that to such and such a person. He's a wicked person. It wouldn't be any good to tell you. And in my experience, even in the local worldly organizations of church, when you know they have testimony service and you feel compelled to tell people how the Lord delivered you and what you did. Some of them people that's sitting there listening, they're not Holy Ghost filled or if they were Holy or if they are or were Holy Ghost filled, it's at a low level because they don't, a lot of people, a lot all, but many people don't deal with you from a spiritual level of maturity. They like, Ooh, he did that. She did that. People saying what they used to do a lot of times. A lot of times they're not saying what they do at the present, and some do. But instead of putting their arm around them and, and, and coaching them to get better and to be stronger or coaching them and say, praise the Lord, the Lord brought you from a mighty long way from what you were doing and what you were practicing. Sometimes they, they almost push the person right back into what they were into or trying to get away from. And that's what we do right now. And and, 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 I, and people have claimed that about me. If I tell people about the Lord, you know what they tell me? You make me want to go away from the Lord. Wow. That's something for me to really ponder. If you tell them not to smoke marijuana, they're going to say, you make me want to smoke more marijuana. Oh, that you tell them not to, but they say, you make me want to get away. You tell them to come to the Lord, and they tell you that you make them want to go away from the Lord. It sounds like witchcraft and rebellion to me, but because they're under it, it doesn't sound like it to them. You ever had someone that you love? I don't care who it is, family, a man you love, a woman you love, your children, anyone, or, or even somebody you care about, and you tell them that you believe something in the Bible, or you believe that you shouldn't do this and you do that, and they are they will agree with you, but then they'll turn around and amplify doing the very thing that they agreed with you was wrong. And you look at them like, and hold it. And they, they amplify it to you as if they're doing something good.
They represent the worldliness of the world. Okay, just like you can tell a person that you're not supposed to uh, smoke cigarettes and tell them that the Bible says that if you do anything to harm your body, that you shall be damned. Do they actually hear what you're saying? Because folks fill up the organized churches on Saturday, Sunday, sometimes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever day they choose, right? Right? And, and they...